Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be looking at the Ring Z-Wave Plus Contact Sensor. Um, this is actually a six pack sensor from Ring. Um, you get a little bit more discount if you buy the six pack rather than buying a single one. If you buy a single one, I believe it's $20 each, but if you end up buying a six pack, uh, you end up uh, only spending a hundred bucks. So it's like you get one sensor for free. And since I have multiple doors and windows, I decided to pick this up here. So this is, um, I'm not going to reuse the ring hub for this. So from what it looks like, this thing uses something called Z-Wave Plus. And I'm running an open source project called Home Assistant, Home Assistant in my house. And I'm running uh, Instance uh, locally. So I will actually be pairing this guy um, straight to my um, home assistant server which has a z-wave uh, uh, receiver on it so yeah so I'll show you guys how all that works so um, this is like one of the cheapest sensor I've seen and um, for z-wave and it has two batteries inside which is pretty cool and I think it lasts a little bit longer than um, all the other ones that I've used but I'll let you know since it's a new product for me so this is the retail packaging as you can see so it says ring contact sensor, and I believe this is the version two um, version because it is a Z-Wave Plus, and this is the contents inside the box. As you can see, it comes with six content uh, contact sensors, 12 batteries, so it does come with batteries each, and quick start guide. Here it says ring alarm base station, sold separately is required, but it's not really required, which I will show you guys. So motion alerts simple alerts so all that good stuff so retail packaging is fairly simple for ring um, they try to keep it minimalistic so yeah there you have it that's the retail packaging let's go ahead and open it up see what's inside so you got this little tab here you just pull it off and then open this up here even though there's a tab there, there's a little sticker on there so you might need a little nudge to open it so as you open it up, packaging is fairly simple, kind of Apple-ish. Just uh, pull it out here. Uh, you got your, what is this? Just information about the product, specific information, safety information, blah, blah, blah. No one uses that. This is how you will space out the sensor, one inch max and half inch gap to take off the cover to replace the batteries. And this is where you should place your sensors. Don't place it there, but place it like this and here on the windows as well. So, yeah. <clears throat> and then looking at the box, as you can see, there's six sensors in there and the batteries are already in there. I believe there's probably a little tab that you pull to activate the batteries. So, yeah, so there's six of them, as you can see here. And the sensor... It's fairly small, so I'll just grab one out here just to show you guys. So each of these are one square inch, so it's about two inch, two inch wide, about a little bit over one and a half inch uh, thickness if you go that way. So not thickness, but in uh, height, two inch height. And then two inch, yeah. So um, you got stickers on the back. Of the sensor here so it comes with some adhesive this is the magnet magnet isn't as strong as the others i've used but it doesn't need to be one inch max of gap is pretty good i think and then here's the little tab that you would pull out your uh, battery so the battery is already inside here so if you want to take a look at it um i'll pull it out right now to show you guys so it's kind of tough to pull out you got to heat man it out but as you pull it out you'll see light blink yellow so just give it give it a nudge and if you have problems with it like i am having right now just open it up like this and then you can pull the tab out that way yeah it's really tight in there so it you might have to just take it out. And here's the uh, here's the uh, two batteries in there. It uses CR2032. 
battery so the cap slides off pretty easily as you can see and then it just locks in so be sure to give yourself a little gap when you're installing this against something so that you could pull the cover off because this is going to be the base that's going to stick on the surface so this will stay stationary so you'll need to be able to um, pull the front off like this so keep that in mind so yeah it's pretty cool so it's blinking yellow light so i think it wants to pair with something so that is pretty much it for the contact sensor so you get six of those there and yeah so let's go ahead and take a look to see how you pair it on home assistant so i'm gonna switch over to my monitor here okay and i pulled up the camera to the lower right corner so you can see what i'm doing as well so this is my home assistant dashboard this is that open source uh, project that i'm uh, talking to you guys about um, earlier where I'm not using a ring hub so you don't really need a ring hub you just need to run a home assistant server and a z-wave uh, home assist um, <coughs> a z-wave key that I purchase separately it's just a USB dongle that pretty much um, plugs into a USB and it becomes a receiver for you and I have a link of that below if you guys are interested in it and I also did a video about it as well and I'll link that below um, so yeah so that's the only two things that you need and I have it on here and then what you want to do is go to settings and then you want to go to uh, devices and services and as you can see I have a lot of devices but there's something here uh, let me turn off the camera uh, here called Z-Wave on the lower right corner right here so you're going to click into that and then as you can see I have 30 33 devices there so I'm going to go ahead and just click into that and then pretty much just add device and now that it's searching for a device, let me pull up my camera back up. And all we need to do is pretty much get our ring sensor, which is still blinking the light yellow. As you can see, it's it's just searching. It looks green on the screen, but it's actually yellow. Um, and pretty much just hold this, hold, hold this down for a few seconds. And then it's searching. So as you can see, it's blinking really fast. So as it's searching, just give it a few minutes and this thing will uh, find it. So as you see, it looks like it found it. So it wants to enter a five pin code for the device to verify. So the code is, is either on the device itself or they provide a a little sticker here as you can see a little template here and it's underlined so you just want to put the first five digits for security hit submit and then it's going to find the device and as you can see it found the device so now i'm just going to view the device and close this <clears throat> so originally <clears throat> initially it's gonna it's gonna put it as a sensor intrusion sensor so as you can see here in home assistant it sees it as an intrusion sensor so right now as you can see when i'm working on the sensor here it's safe when it's closed and it's unsafe it's really fast too look how fast that is it's actually faster than the other sensors that i've dealt with it's almost like real time, but you could pretty much change this if it's a door or con or window or contact sensor. So you just need to just click on this, hit the gear, and then I believe here shown as, and then you could choose what you want to show it as. So they have it. I'm going to put this as a door. So now it changes the icon as a door. You update it and now it just it says intrusion 
but it's a door now. So as you can see, it says closed, open, closed, open. And if you want to use it as a window, you just do the same thing. Click into this, hit the gear. Um, I believe they have window right here. Icon will change to window and it will tell you open, close, open, close. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's really easy to pair in Home Assistant and you don't need a ring hub for this particular device. Other ring products, you might need it. But as far as I know, for these contact sensors, that's pretty much all you need. So there you have it. That's the video, guys. Very easy to use. Very easy to pair, as you can see. Um, you don't need the whole hub, as I show, showed you guys. And that just took me like a few minutes from just opening the box to opening the software and pairing it. So now you just got to install it wherever you want, and then you're good to go. Yeah, not bad for 20 bucks. Buy for six, uh, buy a kit of six, it's about $16.50 each. Can't go wrong with that. Other Z Wave sensors cost about $40 or so, for range anywhere between $35 to $40. And uh, this has two batteries, so I believe it could last about two years, I think. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong below. But yeah, there you have it. That's pretty much the video for this ring contact sensor. So I recommend getting the kit um, and um, saving some money there if you have uh, multiple windows and doors that you want to monitor. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, like always. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like the channel, please subscribe. That helps me buy stuff like this and do some uh, um, unboxing and reviews. And if you like the video, hit that like. And that helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out till next time.